Howdy, this is Herb uh, again. Uh, what I'm doing here is I'm uh, uh, making the connecting rod for the 15cc overhead cam engine. I've got this end done. This is the large end. This is the smaller end. I thought I had it done, but uh, my numbers were wrong, and I need to cut that down a little bit more. So we uh, we're gonna cut on it here. So what I've got is my rotary table, little three-inch uh, uh, three-jaw chuck, and in that there's a piece of uh, I think that's one and a quarter. Uh, 6061 aluminum and I've got a hole tapped uh, uh, drilled and tapped for a quarter 20 and this is a quarter 20 set screw and I've got it down tight and uh, that seems to work uh, this other one took a half inch 13 and I used a different uh, little jig to do that but uh, what I'm going to do here is uh, turn the mill on and uh, crank in the right numbers and uh, twist it around a couple of times and show you what I'm doing. Okay, that's uh, the radius is 0.446. So uh, I'm going to set the mill down here to the right depth. Let me turn it on. Okay, that got it to uh, dimensions. I'll take it off now and mill out this part and thin it up a bit. Okay, we've got our uh, piston mounted in here. I'll show it a little bit more in detail. But what we're uh, doing now is uh, we're going to drill the uh, Okay, this one's for Adam. This is one of my valves for the 15cc overhead cam engine that I'm building. Uh, the diameter of the stem is a quarter inch and the uh, outside's about four tenths of an inch. There's a 45 degree chamfer on the back side where it seats up into the the valve seat and I still need to finish the uh, the stem a little bit it's a little bit rough but it's a little bit over also so I'm going to uh, see if I can fixture that to, to turn it down and also it's a little long so um, it's a, a little bit difficult to hold but uh, there it is that's the uh, that's the valve. So, my work yesterday was building this uh, connecting rod, and uh, you saw some of that action. Got a piston done, the wrist pins in there, 
and this just fits into the, uh, the sleeve. This one's a little bit small. Uh, I'm going to try it with rings on it. If that's not the case, I've got another one that uh, is just just right. That I built this morning. I haven't uh, finished it out, the back side and the cross pin hole. But uh, we'll try different things. But this is uh, that's the piston and the wrist pin there. So uh, this is one inch in diameter, and it's about uh, oh uh, eight tenths of an inch long, something like that. And uh, the wrist pin's a quarter inch diameter, and this uh, is size for a. Uh, a bearing, I think it's 12 millimeters in diameter, or something like that, that fits on the end of the crankshaft. The the crankshaft here, it fits. Needs a little bit of work yet. May have to press it on there, but uh, that's the crank in the uh, in the piston. Uh, if you can see that. So we're uh, we're moving right along. I got one more of these little boogers to build, but uh, we'll get that done. Uh, we can uh, start moving on to other things. Anyway, uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.